Hello, this is Marmoz here and welcome to a new Civilization 5 series. So, this time we are going to play something slightly more goofy, as you might have noticed already. We are going to play as the Pride Lands. So, we are literally playing as lions. This is the newest Civilization from Colonialist Legacies. And as always, you will find the link in the description below. So, what's special about this sieve, other than it being amazing? <laughs> All their units are replaced by lions, but that's purely a visual change. The stats do not actually change. They also get a lot of points towards great musicians, mostly because they get points towards great musicians from sources of animals, as long as they are working sources of animals. They also always start near sources of animals, thus their start bias. And they get a special version of the great works, which provides additional golden age points. And in order to actually use these great musicians, especially at the start of the game, they get a palace replacement with two slots for great works of music. Other than that, I think that's it actually. Yep. So, we are going to play on the Africa map, because come on, what other map could we possibly play on? As the Lion Civilization. <laughs> of course we're going to play on Africa. The map size will be standard. This is a slightly bigger map than average though, because this is the Scrambled Continents map. So, I decided to add one extra AI. I tried with two extra AIs because I gave this map a quick test run, but two extra AIs seemed to be a little bit too much, so one extra AI will do. I also quite liked random personalities in the Champa series. I liked how different AIs can get stronger. It makes the game a little bit less predictable. I quite enjoyed that. Not always the same exact AIs snowballing and others being weak. So I'll keep using random personalities. Other than that, we are playing on Epic Game Pace, data difficulty as always, and all the other settings are on default. So, let's get started. This should be amazing. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at our starting location. Not bad. We don't have a river, but we have salt and some wheat. That's a lot of planes. Okay, I think I'll settle on spot. This is a pretty good start. I like it. We just don't have a river, which kind of sucks, but whatever. <laughs> we can deal with that. So, scout, monument, and we'll start researching pottery. As always, we got some ivory, almost in range. Well, actually, it is in range. And some ruin to the south, and more salt to the west. This is out of range of the city, but... Our second city will get it. Oh, we also have Oloro. That's amazing. That's easily one of the better natural wonders. Because that's two food and six faith. Well, this is obviously going to be the second city then. Right next to Oloro with the salt in range. And we got some culture. Nice. Alright, one more turn then. Yeah, I really like the start so far. A barbarian camp right there. We can handle that a little bit later. Let's take a look around a bit more. So. Huh. I'm actually considering going for Liberty. Just to make things a little bit different this time around. I might do that. Okay, let's give Liberty a shot. I've not had a game with Liberty in, I don't know, a very long time. So, why not? Another ruin nearby. Also, lock a different tile here. Right, let's keep exploring. Need to find some neighbors. I see a city-state to the north. That's a militaristic city-state. Mehal Safari. That's not bad. That also means Ethiopia is not in the game. It looks like we're in Northeast Africa. That seems to be fairly obvious. <laughs> this looks like a pretty decent location for a city as well. A little bit far away. And that barbarian camp is getting in the way. Okay, let's go in the other direction. Still need to find some neighbors. I think I'll finish that monument. Especially since I want liberty. We need that culture. So let it finish and then switch to shrine. There's another city-state, mercantile this time. As for research, let's do animal husbandry. Just to see if there are any horses nearby. And here's the first AI, Babylon. I don't like that too much. Babylon loves spamming their unique unit. Well, most AIs though. 
But Babylon can be quite dangerous. Fortunately, they aren't that close to me. I can't even see any of their cities at the moment. Shrine. Next. Would be nice to get some faith from a ruin. <laughs> but that's fairly unlikely to happen. Another city-state. Keep going this way and that's yet another city-state. To the west. That's Yerevan, cultured city-state. Yeah, I'm not going to fight Handax with a scout. That would be silly. We need a worker ASAP. In fact, I will prioritize worker over a settler. It doesn't look like anyone is actually going to forward settle the Uluru. Hanoi might get it if I don't hurry up. But I need happiness before I settle my second city. We'll also need mining as well as trapping for the luxuries, obviously. Persia is in the game, alright. That's fine. We got quite a few city-states to the southwest. That's actually useful, because that's sort of protection against the AIs. One more turn to get free pop. I hope we have some horses, if only for the yields and money. I should have moved away from that hand axe. Anyway, I'll grab the worker. We need to get started on some improvements ASAP. And... Can I buy the wheat? Yes, I can. That's what we'll do then. And mining after animal husbandry. And then trapping. Should have researched mining before animal husbandry, maybe? But there we go. We got some horses in range, nice. And I almost lost my scout, that would have been bad. Might want to heal him up. Before he gets killed. Yep. More salt. Looks like Persia is this way. Okay, production. So, granary. I can't get archers just yet. I could get started on a second worker. I mean, I'll need one. Or I could get started on a granary. Especially since I have two tiles with wheat in the range of my capital. So, I kind of need a granary ASAP. Alright, Granary. And then we'll get a Settler once we reach for population. I'll still finish exploring this little bit to the east, just to see if there's anything good. More horses and some more wheat. Okay. So the third city is probably going to be somewhere around here, around this river and all the wine. That's a lot of wine that I could potentially grab. I'll need to think about my second location. Okay. So, five more turns for mining. I'll finish that farm around the same time. Just stay in the city while we heal the scout. So, heal him up. Also, I might turn on combat animations for a bit. Just to see the Yonis fight. <laughs> There are some really strange combat animations with ranged units in particular, as you'll see. But it's kind of part of the charm. <laughs> it's not strictly a bug, as in... They are a little bit glitched, as you'll see. But I know the makers were fully aware of it and decided to leave it in. Anyway, archery. Just to get some basic defenses. We aren't being threatened by anyone, but I'll need an archer or two, if only to defend myself against barbarians. Also, let's check Talas Armaments. Looks fine, yep, this is actually... I can get... Well, no, I don't want to sacrifice one food for two gold at the moment. We need the population, and we got a hand axe already. Okay. Well, I can't kill him with a scout. Not really. I'll just have to kill him with city bombardment, or he will move away. Alright, I'm okay with this. I'm more than okay with this. Ten more turns for the next policy. It will take a while to get a settler. I might just recruit one. Before I get one for policies. We'll see. Darius is most literate. And we also got China in the game, alright then. Let's keep exploring to the south. We're clearly in Northeast Africa, so we'll explore south. Granary is done. 
So, three more turns to get four population. I'll get started on the worker and then switch to settler once we get four population. So, keep exploring this way. And this way, Babylon is sending a settler. I don't like that too much. Oh, they started it right here. That's fine. It's a little bit too close to my capital. But it seems their capital is pretty damn close. The important part is Uluru. Might want to hurry up with that before Hanoi gets it. Okay, the animation glitched out. Yeah, this is why I usually play with animations off. Because sometimes they just kind of glitch out. And this happens. Okay, so horses. Actually, silver. Eh, we can grab the horses too. Might want to find the Babylonian capital to see just how close it is. It seems like it's pretty damn close. There, four population. So, settler. How fast can we get that settler? The faster, the better. Let's see, work this. And this. That's 13 turns. 12 turns. Okay, 12 turns is not too bad. That will be a settler on turn 53. On epic pace. As for research, yeah, writing. I'll need a library as soon as I finish that settler. Well, hopefully we'll be able to settle that Uluru without the city-state expanding there. It shouldn't expand there that fast. Yep, I can accept the declaration of friendship. Even if the city-state steals Uluru, I'm still going to settle around there. Oh, I can actually grab a worker. That's amazing. I could return it to Babylon, but... An extra worker for free this early on is just amazing. I'll take it. That's going to help us quite a bit. Get more improvements faster. Alright. I'm quite happy about that. I could have returned him to boost my relations with Babylon. But we'll be fine. Babylon might attack us early on though. Because they are pretty damn close. And they have their unique unit. They quite like spamming their unique unit. So I will get some basic defenses. Probably at least three archers. And get construction for composite bowmen. Maybe even before philosophy. Still looking at Oloro. It's fine so far. Anyway, as I was saying, even if the city state steals Oloro, I'm still going to settle a city there. To take advantage of the sold. And I can always grab Oloro later with a great general. I don't think they will get it. We'll see. We only need like what? Seven, eight more turns? Since I obviously have to move the settler, not just recruit him. Okay, horses. Sell them to China. I don't really need horses right now. I need the money more than I need horses. That's going to be probably five gold per turn. So five gold per turn. Yep, that's fine. And... Oh yeah, the ivory. I don't actually have trapping yet. So we'll get a mine for more production. Embassy. I think I could sell that, although... Nah, let's not do it. I could sell it for flat gold if I really wanted to. No, I'll just wait for writing and exchange embassy. We're about to get writing anyway, so... Keep exploring. I already see Babylonian bowmen. But that's to be expected. There's the settler. Let's go grab that city ASAP. I'll give him an escort just in case some barbarians spawn. I will settle right next to Oloro. Four tiles away from the city state. That seems to be the best city location here. So on this tile probably. I could also go for this one. It won't really make a big difference. I prefer to be slightly closer to my capital and slightly closer to the salt. Yeah, I can't get the wine unless I settle like this. Which I suppose I could, however, I prefer to settle right next to Oloro. Because first, I won't have to actually buy that and second, we'll get an observatory later. So next. Yep, it's ours, nice. That's going to be an awesome city. Oh, what? Someone killed the Barbarian, but didn't load the Barbarian camp? Okay, might have been the city-state. 
So, war color right away. That means we should get a religion. It's still not guaranteed on data, but there's a good chance we'll get it. Start with the library, because National College. Now, now I'll need some defenses against Babylon. Actually, I shouldn't have accepted that, probably. And let's keep exploring. I'll probably move back with that warrior. Yeah. If only to defend my workers against barbarians. What about the third city? I'll have to think about that one. Not sure just yet. Probably somewhere around here to grab some of this wine. I could get another city with an observatory. Quite a lot of mountains. I have to think about the exact location. I could grab four cities, I mean four sources of wine with one city. If I settle right here. Yep, I would get four sources of wine in range of this one city. And I would get an observatory. And it would be reasonably close to my other city. That's probably the best location here. As for worker, start a road. Actually, I can't get a road yet. I don't have the wheel. Alright, we'll get the salt right away. Another barbarian camp. And the city-state wants that camp. That's a militaristic city-state too. I definitely want that influence. Maybe we'll get some extra units out of that. So I need to head back with the warrior and get an archer real quick. Also Pantheon. Before we grab the Pantheon, get the salt and work that. And this guy. I still need chopping, but I can get a farm on the wheat. So, Pantheon. I'm not quite sure about this part just yet. Which Pantheons are gone? That's going to be faster than looking through the list. Let's see. One culture from Jungle Tiles. I don't care about that one. Desert Folklore is unfortunately gone. Actually, I don't really have any deserts, so that's useless for me. Never mind. I thought I had some Desert Tiles, but no. Plus two Faith from Quarries. I don't really care about that. I could grab Faith from Salt. I could also grab Faith from Natural Wonders. Yeah, plus four Faith from Natural Wonders. That would be nice with Oloro. That would give me ten Faith per ten from Oloro, from one tile. I usually don't like going for one with nature, but in this case, that kind of makes sense. The other option is plus one Faith from Copper, Iron and Salt. But I only have two sources of salt. Okay, let's go for faith from Natural Wonders. There. So that's 10 faith from Oloro. That's insane. We'll almost definitely get a religion. I would be extremely surprised if I didn't get a religion while getting 10 faith per 10. 11 faith per 10 on 10 59. That's insane. Right, so now Babylon. I need to defend myself against Babylon. They will almost definitely attack me at some point. Well, maybe they won't, but they want my lands. So I pretty much assume he will attack me sooner or later. Probably sooner rather than later. They do have Persia right next to them, so maybe I could convince Persia to attack Babylon. Just bribe Persia with something. Maybe that would work. Let's see, can we just bribe them right away? Let's see... Yeah, I could bribe them, but they are asking for a lot. I would have to give them my second source of salt to make him fight Babylon. That might still be worth doing, because I really don't want Babylon to attack me this early on. I'm not sure. I need to keep an eye on Babylon. And Oh yeah, he has catapults already. He wants to attack someone. He wouldn't be recruiting catapults otherwise. Yep. Let's try other way around. Will Babylon attack Persia instead? Declare war on Persia now. Okay, so I would have to get Persia to declare war on Babylon. Oh, now he's asking for two luxuries. Yeah. Okay, I don't think I can afford it. Probably not. I'll just have to defend myself if Babylon declares war on me. 
Which means I need more units. So I think that library will have to wait just a tiny little bit. And we need construction ASAP. Yeah, the problem with Babylon is that they can declare war on you pretty damn early. We'll see. Yeah, they have quite a few units. Just need to get a few more archers. At least one more. And construction ASAP. Next. I don't like his city being this close to my cities. And let's keep scouting, but I'm keeping my warrior close to my capital. Plus one population. I think I'll keep working one of these production tiles. Yep, to get more production. This is fairly decent production. 15 hammers. That's not too bad on turn 65. So there's the salt. I could sell that to Babylon. Actually, no. He already has salt, so never mind that plan. I'll sell it to Persia then. Alright. For 7 gold per turn. He will pay 7 gold per turn. The plan would be to get friendly with Persia. And hopefully get Babylon to fight Persia. That's the plan. We'll see if we can make it happen. So, worker. I could just buy the ivory. That probably makes sense. The farm is done. Yep, let's just buy this. That means I can sell it quicker. It will pay for itself easily. Okay, library after the archer. Need to get started on that. And we'll be getting one more settler pretty soon. Oh, German has settled the location that I wanted. Okay, change of plans then. Hmm. I could settle somewhere around here. This wouldn't be a terrible city. I could actually settle where the barbarian camp is. It's a little bit far away, but this would be a decent city. I think that's my plan B for the city location. But the archers will stay here. Let's ex Oh yeah, there's a barbarian camp that Sofia wanted. Need to get rid of that for sure. Would be nice to get allied with Sofia. And maybe get a few units out of them. Oh, also, I'm going to show you the attack animation <laughs> from the archers, because it's amazing. Such of Zeus. That wasn't Babylon. Do I know who that was? It was in a city that I don't know of, but... Who built it? China has the Temple of Artemis. Alright. Babylon went for what? Tradition and patronage? Tradition, tradition. That's a lot of tradition. Okay, whatever flows their boat. I expected at least some of them to go for liberty. Anyway. I'll show you the attack animation. <laughs> wait for it. Nothing unusual just yet, but wait for it. Here it comes. <laughs> they got hit by meteors. <laughs> I will turn it off, probably. But I just wanted to show you. Not much point attacking with the scout, but I'll block that other scout. And... Send the warrior. Alright, next. Also, I'll need the wheel, which we will get after masonry. Another worker. I should probably get at least one mine near this city for when I want to go full production. I could also buy the ship. That would give me the wine a little bit faster. Alright, let's just buy the ship. That's a good tile to have. Plus one visibility range. And kill this guy. Down he goes. 37 gold. And influence with Sofia. They are hostile, so I'll be losing 1.12 influence per turn. I could give them some money. I'd like to at least maintain the friendship to get some unit out of them. It will definitely help me defend myself against Babylon. Because again, I pretty much assume Babylon will attack me sooner or later, even if I play friendly. Especially since they want my land. Yeah. They want our lands. So that's going to happen. Alright. Oh, also, great musicians. We're getting great musicians points because we're working sources of animals. So that's the unique ability. The city-state already has composite bombmen, alright. So, third city. I still think this is going to be the third city. 
It will be kind of close to Berlin, so it's going to be a little bit aggressive. But it will be pretty easy to defend. I might actually settle on top of the ship. That would be a slightly better city location than this one. It would be easier to defend. Yeah, this would be way easier to defend. We'll see, we have some time to decide. I could also send my settler west-ish. There isn't really enough space for a decent city here. Yeah, not really. I could start a city here in theory. Or no, this is too close to the cities. Yeah, this would be way too far. Not really worth starting a city all the way west. That's just too far away. And there are too many city-states to the southwest. It will have to be in this general area. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Another thing I could do is go aggressively against Babylon. I could get Persia to attack Babylon and attack Babylon myself at the same time. Instead of just defending myself. That's not a terrible idea. I have pretty damn good production in Pride Rock. So I could go aggressive if I want to. Someone build Persia. We got masonry. So, oh yeah. The camp is done. I can sell that to Hiawatha. For gold. So 360. Nice. That's 540 uh, 40 gold. Yeah, I'm actually considering going to war early on. That's one of the things that are a little bit easier to do with liberty. Early aggression. So I'm strongly considering that. Right about now. Can't get started on roads just yet. We'll just get another mine. So, Pride Rock. Hmm. Well, archers. Yep, let's get a few archers. I mean, I'll need more units for defense, even if I decide to not go aggressively. But right now I'm leaning towards attacking Babylon myself, instead of just defending. They have some pretty decent cities. I would get the salt. This isn't the most amazing city ever, but it has gold in range. That's a luxury that I do not have. So I would get a new luxury from this city. It has wheat, it has horses in range, the salt. Their capital is not too bad. Well, it's not great, but it has decent food potential. No, these are all plains. Actually, their capital is kind of bad, now that I'm looking at it. It has marble. Which isn't that great, but it's a luxury that I do not have at the moment. Yeah, I think so. I like that plan. But I'll need more units than this. And the other thing is that this city is pretty damn exposed. It will be pretty easy to attack it with composite bomber. So the plan right now would be to get 4 or 5 composite bomber and see if we can just take this city purely with composite bomber. I should be able to, as long as I hurry up. We need to wait a little bit longer for that. Alright. I don't actually need calendar just yet, which is nice. Another farm. Or I could get another mine if I buy one more tile. Or I could buy the wheat. That probably makes the most sense. Yep, that definitely makes the most sense. I'm not used to playing with liberty, by the way. So this is going to be interesting. Looking forward to it. I'll buy that on the next turn. The city is about to grow too. Also that wine. I still like this location a lot. I want a city somewhere around here. I could grab all of these resources. It just kind of sucks that the ship is on this exact tile, because this is the best tile to settle here. Easiest to defend if Germany decides to attack me. This one would be way harder to defend. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. So, another archer is done, let's get at least one more. I don't remember the exact cost to upgrade archer to composite moment, but I have 575, so this is definitely going to be enough. Well, a little bit less if I decide to buy this tile. Or I could wait 9 turns. Let's just wait 9 turns. I want to keep my money to upgrade units. This will be a good timing attack. 
if I recruit some more archers, then upgrade them all to composite bowmen and attack Babylon as soon as I get composite bowmen. It won't be that easy, but it should be doable. They already have composite bowmen, but that's to be expected. It's not unusual on turn 29. Plus some population, good. I'm glad that I have decent production in my capital, because otherwise there's no way I would be considering early aggression without good production. I think I'll keep these assignments. These are good. I like the gold, but I don't really need gold right now. And one food, one production is not that great. Yep, keep working that. How's the religion coming along? Three more religions can still be founded. And we'll get 300 faith in 11 turns. Yeah, having a religion will be quite useful in this game too. And that's a lot of faith from the Uluru. Okay, so buy the wine. It's probably worth doing. How long would we have to wait? Oh yeah, way too long. I'll just buy the wine then. But oh yeah, I didn't actually research calendar, right. But I guess I could research it after construction. Yep, sure. It was still worth buying that wine, I suppose. Back up a little bit. I don't want him to get suspicious just yet. So, 13 turns. Also, that archer, I mean, settler is coming soon. I'll give him an escort in form of my scout. There's another archer. One more in three turns. Just to be safe. I think so. Hey, I could go for the pyramids. Not my favorite wonder ever, but did anyone go for liberty at all? Honor, tradition, tradition. No one went for liberty, so might as well build the pyramids. I'm not a huge fan of that wonder, but if we can get it easily, and it looks like we can, then might as well do it. Also, need to get started on the road for some extra money and to make logistics a little bit easier. Right, so collective rule. I could start the Golden Age instead, but nah. Need to start that city. So there's the settler. Now, these are the two options that I see either on this tile, which would give me extra fish. However, it would be slightly harder to defend against Germany because the city would be more exposed to the west. However, I would get extra fish. It's probably worth starting a city on this tile just for the extra fish. The only problem is that, again, it will be tougher to defend. Is this a hill? Yes, that's actually a hill. So that's good. Yeah, I think that's going to be the city. I'll just need to keep a unit or two around here and stay friendly with Germany. Anyway, roads. Let's get started on roads. Like this, like this. And the scout can escort the settler. I could also start one more city in this area. But it wouldn't be amazing. It might be worth considering. I could start a city here. Which would give me the floodplain weed. It would also give me horses and wine. The city would have an observatory. Maybe I should do that first. But Germany might settle a city here if I don't do it myself. And if they settle a city on this side of the mountains, it will be extremely tough to break through there later on. So that's one of my reasons for settling a city there. They might also start a city here, but this one would be much easier to take than this one. This one would be extremely tough to take. So I need to secure that location. There's the archer, so seven more turns for construction. Then I can upgrade all of these guys to composite bowmen and attack Dorkuri Galzo. I'm not convinced building the pyramids is such a great idea right now. In fact, I could use a caravan to get some shade routes with Germany. Munich is definitely in range for shade routes, it is. Yeah, caravan is way more important right now, I would say. So that's going to be the caravan. As for production, a yeah, monument, I suppose. Anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue the next one. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.